Hi, uh, I'm Leslie Battle. I'm a funny lady. Uh, amazing! I'm so excited about this show. Um, it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me. I am so excited to be a part of this. It's a great cause. And I really like that, um, at least with the comedians that I'm familiar with, we have so many just amazingly talented ladies. And it's really cool to be on all female lineups because, you know, we're, we're bringing it. So I, um, I, I just can't wait. I think it's going to be a great show and I'm excited for it. A lady of arms. That's interesting. I think I think she took that from uh, He Man, Man at Arms. <laughs> um, I uh, have been in the military since 1988. I currently serve in the Ohio National Guard. It's pretty interesting. I spent three years in Germany. Loved it. Um, I get to handle weapons without a license. That's kind of cool. I'm not saying to do that if you don't have the proper clearance, but um, I, I kind of. I had no idea that I was capable of firing a weapon with accuracy until I went to basic training. And, that was, and I'll be the first one to say it may not be for everyone, but if you feel that calling, go for it because it's a ride that you will thoroughly enjoy. Um, not immediate family, but I have a maternal great aunt who uh, had a uh, malignant lump some years ago. I think it was maybe 15 or so years ago. She's 93 now, so uh, she recovered from it well. She was able to tolerate uh, all of the treatment and everything, and she's still going strong. She's but, um, besides her, there was a coworker. I used to work in uh, medical labs, and I had a coworker who also had a similar situation, but she did have to have uh, some nodes removed and go through some chemo and, and, and everything. And one thing that I can say about the both of them is they were just so upbeat and positive about the whole process. They were just, you know, convinced that they were going to pull through it and you never heard them talk negatively. You never heard them complain. And I'm willing to bet that that's uh, kind of a consistent experience. A lot of uh, the survivors now. Well, first I want to say that uh, I'm, I'm not going to patronize you and say that I understand because I haven't been through it. But one thing that I do understand is that you can fight it. You can absolutely fight it and you can have years and years of a cancer-free life after you're, you're, you're rid of it. So don't give up. I mean, I can say that it's, it's going to be difficult. It's, it's never just a walk in the park for anyone that has been through it. But those who come out and, and end up, you know, again, getting back to a healthy state, it, it's worth it. So don't give up, you, you got this.